In this video, we're gonna talk about the best video editing software that you can use for beginners. Roll the titles. There we go. So we're ready to talk about the best video editing software. And I've got five different pieces of video editing software, but I'm gonna tell you something before we get started that actually there's some requirements around this. So what I'm about to say, I know is gonna be controversial, uh, because it's going to offend some users and those users are Final Cut Pro users because they're going to say where's Final Cut but my requirement for the best video editing software that you can use for beginners the best video editing software for beginners is that the software must be available on both Mac and PC I'm going to start with the fifth and probably this is probably the one that I think you should get started with and it is of course Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you might think, why would I start with Adobe Premiere Pro? Adobe Premiere Pro is Adobe's, it's software that Hollywood uses to create videos, right? To edit videos. But that makes it super complicated. So it's in last place. I'm saying it's in number five, it's last place. But I always think, and it has to be there because I always think about the end, have the end in mind. Uh, when we get to uh, place number one, we'll talk about it being a great piece of software to learn to edit on. Um, but Adobe Premiere Pro is really where you should end up when you uh, have moved through the ranks of the different pieces of video editing software Adobe Premiere Pro is the end result because it's so flexible and it can do anything and, and as I say people have edited uh, Hollywood movies on it Right, so Adobe Premiere Pro sits at number five at uh, number four then we're not going to move very much further It's Adobe Premiere Rush so Adobe Premiere Rush has to sit in there and I'm, I'm kind of doing this in such a weird way going five, five to one. Um, but with number four Adobe Premiere uh, Rush, what you can do is you can edit videos in a really simple way and it's very much like iMovie. So if, if we were looking at just Mac uh, software, iMovie of course would be an equivalent here. Actually it's slightly better in some ways than Adobe Premiere Rush. But the great thing about Adobe Premiere Rush is you can start editing on your mobile phone and then because it uses cloud storage for the actual video footage and the project files, you can then continue editing on a tablet or a laptop and PC, right? So imagine this, you're in the field, you're out and you're filming something on your mobile phone, maybe it's a... Uh, um, uh, something on on your phone as you're sort of out, out and about and you want to take that footage straight away and put it into a project for editing my wife did this we went to Florida and we she we were there in Florida for two weeks and what she did is she she was out in the field and she was filming stuff out in the field we were on holiday and she was filming stuff with the kids and that kind of thing and she was putting it in the project every day as we go and by the time we got home the whole project timeline was there in order of the days that we were at this uh, on this holiday so it really allowed us to um, to rapidly edit uh, the footage, but and it's got some great things like titles. It's got things like speed control in it. Uh, it's just missing some other stuff like green screen um, editing. So it has to sit at number four because it's an entry level video editing piece of software. So number four is Adobe Premiere Rush. Okay, number three then. I was looking for alternatives for Final Cut, right? And I was thinking, what can I find as an alternative? that actually does a good job. And of course, Phil Mora sits at number three because what they've done is they've, if you search for Final Cut Pro for Windows in um, in Google, Phil Mora comes up. They've taken that phrase and put Google Ads behind it, which is amazing because they recognize that people do want alternatives. So I would say at uh, number three there is Phil Mora. I've, I've heard great things about Phil Mora. I've used Phil Mora Go on my mobile phone. Um, I've played around with it a little bit. And I just think it's a nice, easy entry level, again, a piece of software for beginners getting started. It feels like something, uh, dare I say, it feels child friendly, right? And, and when you're getting started with edit, video editing, if you jumped in at Adobe Premiere Pro level, you'd probably find that it's quite complicated. It looks quite complicated. So Filmora really just eases you in and you can buy a whole bunch of extra stuff for it as well. Uh, so it's a really nice place to get started. Number two is the biggest surprise when it comes to video editing software for beginners, right? And that's because it's, a, it's not really a video editing piece of software. This software is called Descript. And Descript uh, uh, traditionally was a podcast 
uh, piece of software. It actually allowed you to edit audio really easily. Um, it allows you to captions and, and generate subtitles and that kind of thing. Uh, and then they recently added some video editing stuff in there as well. So you can start adding uh, assets to the screen, logos, you can start chopping things down. You can add, it's got multi-track and um, I believe they're working on multi-camera uh, uh, timelines as well. So really loads of things you can do in Descript and it's a really, really simple piece of software. But it has to sit at number two because it's definitely for beginners. Um, but it's super, super powerful in terms of the output that you can create. Like I say, captions, Gary V style uh, viral videos, um, all sorts of different things. And from a commercial point of view, uh, I have a business called Hazel Sky. It's a content marketing agency. We, we do captions, we do Gary, Gary V style videos, short form editing, long form editing, all that kind of good stuff. Um, this video, uh, this piece of software really allows us to do all that stuff uh, in a really simple way. Oh, by the way, guys, if you've not been to this channel before uh, or you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe uh, button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when we publish new videos, which is every every week. We're doing them every week now. So the last one then, what could be number one? How are we going to justify number one after we've talked about Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Rush, Filmora and Descript? Well, number one, number one is Camtasia, TechSmith Camtasia. Now, I've been in IT, I've been in video for seven years, but I've been in IT for 20 years. Um, and Camtasia, TechSmith Camtasia is one of the first screen recording pieces of software that I used. And it is so, so simple. Anybody that's think, thinking about doing presentations with slide decks, anyone that's thinking about doing screen recordings, demos, software demos, um, and even if you're just doing video editing generally with green screen removal, that kind of thing, Camtasia has all of these things. Um, I'm not paid by Camtasia to put them at number one. I just genuinely believe it's one of the best pieces of video editing software for beginners. And I say specifically for beginners because I teach people how to do video editing and I start with Camtasia. The video editing user interface that it sits in is really nice. It's really easy to get used to. It's not overwhelming. You know, things are put into um, different sections. It's a really nice piece of software to get learning uh, video editing. Now that's it. That's my top five. I will ask you a question. It will be the pinned question on this YouTube video. Uh, what do you think is the top piece of video editing so software? Uh, there's so many different video editors out there and people ask me all the time uh, what the best software is. So I really wanted to give you kind of like a, a top five um, where I, I think the fifth one, Adobe Premiere Pro, is the one that's got the biggest learning curve and TechSmith Camtasia being top, I think has the smallest learning curve and also it has so much documentation and support around it as well. So I think the guys over at TechSmith have done a really great job of uh, making it an easy piece of software and also documenting it. All right, so once again, uh, before we get out of here, I will say if you've not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. That's it from me, Matthew Hughes, King of Video. Bye-bye.